Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. On this channel you'll find a lot of Simu emulator focused content. The highly popular Wii U emulator has often underperformed when it comes to AMD GPU users, with the lowest performing combination coming in the form of a system using both an AMD CPU and GPU. This has led to AMD users feeling frustrated and forgotten. With the advent of Ryzen CPUs, AMD has made quite a comeback and can once again be considered a worthy competitor to Intel. Ryzen, along with the multi-core support found within Simu, really has transformed the experience for those of you devoted to AMD, at least on the processor side. However, the question remains on the GPU side. This has led to many from the community demanding the implementation of Vulkan as opposed to OpenGL which Simu uses. We'll take a look at developer comments a bit later regarding Vulkan. If you missed my previous video discussing the AMD debacle, I recommend that you check it out as I cover a lot of the key issues. AMD enthusiasts were quick to highlight certain points I made which they felt were inaccurate, such as this one namely relating to single core performance. Now we have Intel and we have AMD. Intel has always had superior single core performance to AMD. And that statement stands true today. Uh, I believe even the best Ryzen CPU that's available has moderate single core performance, not incredibly impressive single core performance. Whilst the adjective used to describe Ryzen single core performance can be debated, it is still behind Intel based on CPU benchmark results when comparing the highest performing processors on the market. The undeniable consensus when it comes to the core clock is that Intel has the edge at peak speeds and the degree to which it can be overclocked. Other users were quick to point out that AMD used to dominate single core performance in the early 2000s. Make sure to check out my Reddit thread dedicated to AMD user experiences which has over 250 replies. The default belief is that Vulkan implementation will automatically solve all AMD GPU performance issues. However, whether that's the case with Wii U emulation in Simu remains to be seen. Most users blame AMD and their OpenGL driver for poor performance. Some choose to place that responsibility on the Simu developers, however. Either way, don't take my word for it. Let's get the opinion of a team with expertise, courtesy of a Q&A from PC Perspective regarding OpenGL, AMD and Simu. Korea wants to know, can you explain why OpenGL performance is worse on AMD compared to NVIDIA? If it's just poorly written drivers, why haven't they been able to fix them over the years? I'm specifically concerned with applications like the Wii U emulator Simu, which runs terribly on AMD hardware compared to NVIDIA. As far as I know, there is no fundamental architectural advantage that NVIDIA graphics architectures, GPUs have over AMD over the Radeon brand that makes them better at OpenGL. Um, I think the difference is NVIDIA has significantly more investment in the OpenGL ecosystem, whether that be for gaming or for um, you know professional applications. Right? We got to remember a lot of the professional applications were using OpenGL up until fairly recently, and I'm sure some still do. And NVIDIA's Quadro line has been completely dominant in that field for for you know, a decade or more. And uh, because of that, they just had a lot of, uh, uh, of knowledge in that space that maybe AMD didn't have. Now, why wouldn't AMD fix that if it were simply a driver issue over time? I think it really comes down to an investment question. Um, could they fix it? Yes. Um, could they have fixed it today or five years ago or two years ago, probably, or at least improve the situation pretty dramatically? The, the thing was, there wasn't a whole lot of demand for it. OpenGL games were and are minimal. Um, and now, you know, the, I think the writing was on the wall a couple of years ago that OpenGL wasn't going to be important for very much in the gaming space. And instead it was going to be Vulkan, DirectX, DirectX 12. Um, and so they kind of decided rather than invest in OpenGL, we're going to kind of admit defeat in that space, let NVIDIA have it. Uh, but we're going to catch up in the other areas of growth, other areas that will matter more in 2017, 2018, 2019. And I think they, they have done that and they've proven that to be the case. Um, 
As for applications like the Wii U emulator, I, I don't expect there to be any dramatic changes for that. You know, if it becomes super popular and the audience asks a lot, maybe AMD's team spends a couple of weeks and makes some tweaks to improve things here and there. But no, I don't expect any dramatic shifts in uh, OpenGL performance for AMD parts ever, I guess I would say. I think OpenGL is going to be deprecated sooner than we'll see those types of changes. Based on the PC perspective, perspective, they describe differences in development focus which suggest that Nvidia invested more in OpenGL than AMD and perhaps AMD feel there isn't enough demand for OpenGL optimization to devote precious resources to it. So with that said, AMD put their eggs into the Vulkan and DirectX 12 basket instead. So forget about any OpenGL improvements for AMD moving forward. As regards Simu, there could be a multitude of reasons why AMD seems somewhat left behind. Firstly, AMD OpenGL performance is out of the Simu development team's hands. Another angle could be market share, an area in which Intel and Nvidia dominate. That could easily lead to a focus being on the most popular hardware first. Regardless of that, we have seen strides towards increased performance across the board for Intel, AMD and Nvidia. Now, the ultimate question for the Vulkan Obsessed, when will we see it implemented into Simu? Using direct quotes from lead Simu developer XAP, let's see what he had to say on the matter. Going all the way back to March 2017 in an early statement from XAP regarding Vulkan, he said the plan is to finish the current OpenGL backend and then look into Vulkan however long that may take. Then in June, he said Vulkan backend will likely come before it goes open source. In December 2017, he said, literally, the only benefit of Vulkan for Simu is that the API is faster, according to vendors at least. The fun part is that we can't know how much faster it is until it is fully implemented. It's a multi-month project based on blindly trusted marketing promises and anecdotes. Currently, our Vulkan plan looks like this. One, slowly move towards OpenGL 4.5 plus core profile it already has a lot of Vulkan like constraints and API. 2. Update the shader decompiler to generate Spear V instead of GLSL. 3. Port the remaining state API to Vulkan. Then moving on he said you all act like it's as easy as flipping a switch somewhere. AMD won't magically make their driver faster and Simu won't suddenly get Vulkan support just because everyone wants it. These things take many many man hours. On the 27th of December 2017, when we added the graphic backend to Simu, there was no Vulkan and no Mantle. It made sense to use OpenGL for cross-platform compatibility. Eventually, after answering questions about Vulkan multiple times, XAP took things in a satirical direction saying, Vulkan will solve all the problems and make Simu run at 1000 FPS. And he included this GIF. His final official answer was Vulcan in 2019, I already confirmed it 10 times, which he said in January 2018. So there you have it, the Vulcan roadmap is in place, but it will require patience before we see its implementation in Simu and potential benefits in action, particularly for AMD users. Let's finish on some very basic Vulcan definitions. The short summary is that Vulcan is the cross-platform low-level API put out by the Kronos Group the same group that handles the cross-platform OpenGL API. Alternatively, Vulkan is to OpenGL as DirectX 12 is to DirectX 11. Vulkan is the new generation open standard API for high efficiency access to graphics and compute on modern GPUs. This ground up design, previously referred to as the next generation OpenGL initiative, provides applications direct control over GPU acceleration for maximized performance and predictability. So there you go ladies and gents, hopefully you know a little something that you didn't know before about Vulkan and when we should see it within Simu. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And if you want to see more content from me, remember to subscribe.